Welcome to the final debate of the week for the week. <laughs> that just sounds stupid. This is about Booker T and his sentence to greatness. I'm not sure using the name sentence for greatness was 100% the greatest title, but under the situation that he went through, I really believe it was the wisest thing to use. Because they really focused on his life and what he did before he became a wrestler. Now, they made it more in a family oriented type of thing. Not much different than anyone else's. Like a couple of other people who've done it like Ric Flair or something. But I felt with Booger T and Charmel, it felt a lot more relaxed. It did. Seeing them in their own, well, seeing them in their own kitchen, in their own living room with their daughter and their son was pretty good. The only problem I had, even though they showed his older brother and his sisters, the problem I felt was, what about his older son? And I'm talking about Booger T. I think it would have been better, and I don't know what situation him and his son is in. Maybe he didn't want to be caught on film. Maybe they're kind of a strain. Maybe they just couldn't get him. But I felt that Booger T's son should have been there, his oldest son. I really felt that that would have been wisest thing to do. To have his older son there. With him, his older brother, who he was having problems with. And I felt this. The montages were pretty good. Him explaining what happened to him was pretty good. Going back to Texas was alright. Seeing the man that him and his brother worked for in the beginning after Booger T had come out of incarceration. It was actually very nice to see him and his wife there. I do believe that was a pretty well done video. A good um, documentary, if you're going to say it that way, which is the truth. It is a documentary. And I do believe it's pretty good. I don't know if it was far enough, though. Because, let's be honest here. I'm sure a few people are going to say, well, it's nice they showed him as a five-time, five-time, five-time type of WCW champion. Why didn't he become WWE champion? And that was never really addressed. Why wasn't he given the opportunity? Because we know what happened. Because Vince didn't want to give it to him because he was an old WCW guy. And I felt that doing this documentary, in a sense, is bittersweet. Probably for Booger T. Even though he was happy beyond recognition that he was allowed to go into the Hall of Fame. And now he's got his own documentary on his life. I don't think he'll be, it, it's eating away at him that he wasn't allowed to get the chance to become WWE champion. But I do believe that he did deserve at least a short title reign with it. And seeing this documentary kind of pisses me off for the simple reason that he never got the chance. And even though he worked with Stone Cold Steve Austin, he worked with Gold Dust, Goldie, Dustin. It was great seeing them together. It was great to see that he worked with someone like that. And... Booger T's always been very entertaining. Admittedly, he's not doing very well on commentary because being on commentary with the dull and tiring Michael Cole and the really annoying JBL to a certain extent has really brought down his commentary still skills. Because when you look at it honestly, he should be very popular with the people when it comes to commentary and most of the time he is. But seeing him with those guys has really brought him down. If it was a new team with him, he would be highly entertaining. And most of the time he isn't. But this is just my humble opinion about Booger T. What is your feelings about Booger T? Do you believe that he should have been given the WWE Championship at one point? He should have. If it was around King Booga, which I loved. And Shawn Mel looked damn hot, man. I'm sorry. If anybody thought Shamel did not look good at that time, you explain why. Was it because she didn't look good? Because she was too skinny? That she wasn't sexy? Tell me the reason why. Because Shamel has a nice rack, a damn good looking face, especially with long hair. And she sounded pretty decent. And she sounded like she could scream her head off. You know what I'm saying. So I hope you enjoyed this second debate of the week. Please give me a comment below. Tell me which debate you would like me to do next. And you guys have a good day and have a good night. Peace out.